Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the ninth question from CIE IGCSC 058041, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is a combination of mensuration and trigonometry chapters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is a solid cuboid. The length of AB is given as 10 cm, length of BC is given as 8 cm and length of CG is given as 17 cm. Work out the volume of the cuboid. So here we can see that in this figure a cuboid is given and in the first question we need to find out the volume of the cuboid. So we have the formula for volume of the cuboid as length times width times height. Length is 10 cm, width is 8 cm and height is 17 cm. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 1360 as the volume of the cuboid. So let us write here. The volume of the cuboid is 1360 cubic centimeter. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Work out the total surface area of the cuboid. So we have the formula for total surface area of the cuboid as total surface area is equal to 2 times length times width plus width times height plus height times length. So we have the length as 10, width as 8 and height as 17. So substituting the respective values we have written here. 2 times length is 10, width is 8 plus width is 8 times height is 17 plus height is 17 times length is 10. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 772 centimeters square. So this is the total surface area of the cuboid. Calculate the angle between GA and the base ABCD. So let me highlight these two now. So GA represents the diagonal of the cuboid and it is going to make an angle with the base ABCD this way. So let us call this angle as angle theta. So here we need to find out what is the angle made by this line GA with the base ABCD. Now ABCD is going to be a rectangle because it is a part of a cuboid. So each vertex is going to be 90 degree. So let us consider that the vertex B is going to be 90 degree. And let us connect the points A and C this way. Now let us consider the right angled triangle ABC. Now here we have redrawn the right angled triangle, right angled at point B. The length of BC is 8 cm, the length of AB is 10 cm. Let us try to find out the length of AC, that is the hypotenuse. We are trying to find out the hypotenuse because we are trying to make a connection between the triangle ABC and the right angle triangle AGC. We will focus on this triangle later. So coming back to this, let us find out the length of hypotenuse by using the Pythagoras theorem. So we have written here using the Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse square will be equal to the sum of square of the rest two sides. So AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square. Now taking the square of AC on the other side of equal to sign, we get square root of BC square plus AB square. Now BC is 8 cm. So we have written here square root of 8 square plus AB is 10 cm. So we have written here 10 square. Now this is going to give us the value as 12.806. Now I have rounded it to 3 decimal places. Since this is an intermediate step, take the value till 3 decimal places or 4 decimal places to get a precise answer. Now once we have got the value of AC, let me write it over here. Let us focus on the right angled triangle ACG. Now this is going to be a right angle because the face BCGF is also a rectangle. So this angle C becomes right angled. So you can consider the face CDHG also. Here also the point C is going to be 90 degree. So let me redraw this triangle over here. So the same right angled triangle is drawn, right angled at point C. GC is 17 centimeter and AC we got the value as 12.806. Now since we have to find out theta, that is the angle made by this line GA with the base, we are going to make use of trigonometric ratios. And here since theta is the angle of concern, the side GC is opposite to this angle. So 17 becomes the opposite side. And the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now in this triangle, we have the opposite side and we have the adjacent side. So we do not need the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio which makes use of opposite side and adjacent side is tan. So let us write here. 
tan theta is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, opposite side is GC and adjacent side is AC. So, we have written here GC over AC. Now, substituting their respective values, we get 17 over 12.806. Now, let us take tan on the other side of equal to sign. So, we get theta is equal to tan inverse of this fraction. So, let us see what value we get here. So, here we get the value as 53.009. So, I am going to round it to two decimal places and write it as 53.01 degree. So, this is the angle made by the line GA with the base ABCD. That is 53.01 degree. A straight rod PQ is placed inside the cuboid. One end of the rod P is placed at the midpoint of AB. The other end of the rod Q rests on GH. HQ is to QG is equal to 4 is to 1. Calculate the length of the rod PQ. So, let us focus on the data given over here. It is mentioned that P is the midpoint of AB. The length of AB is 10 cm and since P is given as the midpoint, the distance of P from A is going to be 5 cm and the distance of P from B is also going to be 5 cm. Now, the second piece of information given over here is, the other end of the rod Q is placed on GH and it is placed in such a way that it makes a ratio of 4 is to 1 on GH. So, the length of HQ is 4 out of 5 parts because 4 plus 1 is 5 and the distance QG is going to be 1 over 5. That is 1 part out of 5 total parts. So, let us try to find out the length of HQ in centimeters. Now, the length of HG is going to be 10 cm because this is a cuboid, the length of AB, CD, EF and GH is going to be 10 cm. So, here we have written the length of HG is 10 cm. Now, since HQ has 4 parts out of the total 5 parts of HG, we have written here HQ is equal to 4 fifth of HG. So, in the next step, we have replaced HG by its length, that is 10 cm. Now, 5 divides 10, that is 5, 1 times is 5 and 5, 2 times is 10. So, the length of HQ in cm now becomes 4 times 2, that is 8 cm. Similarly, let us find out the length of QG. Now, here QG takes 1 fifth of the length of HG. So, here we have written QG is equal to 1 over 5 of HG and length of HG is 10 cm. So, here again 5 divides 10 that is 5 1 times is 5 and 5 2 times is 10. So, the length of QG now becomes 2 cm. So, let us write down the length of HQ and length of QG over here. Now, once we have got the lengths, let us focus on PQ. PQ is a rod placed inside the cuboid and to get the proper length, if P is acting as the midpoint of AB, Q also should be acting as the midpoint of HG. But as we can see, Q is not acting as the midpoint. It is 8 cm away from H and 2 cm away from G. So, let us try to drag this Q by 3 units so that it becomes the midpoint of HG. So, here I have marked the point Q dash, that is the new point, after dragging this point Q 3 units towards the left. So, you can get this by taking this length PB, which is 5 cm, and subtracting the 2 cm from it, that is QG. So, 5 minus 2 gives us the length 3, that is the length Q, Q dash. Now, the points P and Q dash makes a right angle triangle. Let me show over here. So, starting at P, you can see we have drawn a parallel line to BC. And from this parallel line goes another straight line parallel to GC. So, let me just show this way. And then connecting PQ dash this way. So, this also forms a right angle triangle now. And since we need to find out the length of PQ dash, we are going to use the formula length of PQ is equal to square root of length square plus width square plus height square. Now, this formula is the formula for diagonal of a cuboid. Now, here we have got the length QQ dash by subtracting 2 from 5 cm. So, here in place of length, we have written 5 minus 2 square plus the width of this right angle triangle is 8 cm, same as BC. So, we have written here 8 square plus the height is equal to GC. So, we have written here 17 square. Now, let us simplify this. So, 5 minus 2 square gives us 3 square plus 8 square plus 17 square. 
let us see what value this gives us so this is going to give us the value as square root of 362 or as a decimal we get it as 19.026 I'm going to round it to two decimal places so it becomes 19.03 centimeter so here the length of PQ is 19.03 centimeter I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then check out these playlists where you'll find more examples of this kind and if you're liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching